this is microsoft's latest elite 2 controller the core and what separates this one from the regular microsoft elite series 2 controller is nothing they're actually 100 percent identical aside from the cool white color choice to choose from actually it's the only choice option available for this elite controller so out of the box what the elite 2 core controller comes with is the elite controller itself and yes if you're wondering the quality does feel on par to the to the regular Elite 2 controller and shares all the important features such as the capability to create different profiles indicating right here with the LED lights, the ability to move the joysticks and tighten them because if we continue unboxing it, they do throw in the joystick tightening tool. So just like the more expensive Elite controller, you also have that capability. You just lose the cool gloss chrome look underneath the joystick but honestly the silver is quite nice and then you also get the microsoft amazing braided usb a to usb c connection cable that's extremely long and yes the controller itself does support usb c just like the regular elite 2 series 2 wireless controller i said two twice but aside from the packaging placing the two on the flat surface if you look in the back you are missing the the paddles back here but they do support it so if you like to you can actually purchase the paddles separately and add them to the core controller so the core 2 retails for just 129 dollars meanwhile the regular elite series 2 controller retails for about 179 yes you could find it on sale especially during these upcoming holidays but i wouldn't be surprised if the core 2 also goes on sale so the quality between these two controllers honestly they feel nice they both have a nice weight to them, as you can see right here, as they're extremely similar. Just remember, the Elite 2 has the paddles back here, but you can easily remove them. Just however, if you purchase the Elite 2, so the two are really just $50 apart because everything else, they're almost identical. You still have the kit mechanism back here to actually switch between three different type of triggers that you want, if you want to go all the way in or medium or not. This is all personal user preference due to the fact that one could be used for a shooter, the other one could be used for accelerating throttle control. Now for $50 more, what do you get with the Elite Series 2 controller? Well, for starters, they include everything else. Just you get this cool travel case, which actually includes a dedicated dock. So you can actually wirelessly charge your controller by simply placing it like so. There's a little USB-C port right here, which actually does support pass-through capability. If you want to charge it all together with the case, you have the freedom to do so. And then you have additional joysticks as well as the D-pad. Because with the Core 2 controller, you only get this satellite looking D-pad. You don't really get the actual dedicated D-kit pad. But again, these type of things you could purchase all separately. And then you also get the longer joystick extensions. But internally, both do have a rechargeable battery that can last up to 40 hours of gameplay. And if you buy this dock separately, which you totally can, it is fully compatible even on the Core 2 controller. So if you like to buy this on a later time, you totally can do so. This is what I mean. It literally is a clone of the Elite Series 2 controller on the core. Just, it doesn't include all the additional knickknacks. Then in terms of software, if you're using the Series X console or even the Series S, just like the Elite 2 controller, it also has full access to the Microsoft accessory where this application allows you to actually customize every button layout to your own personal preference, swap bu buttons to do different things, and create custom profiles and name it for whatever game you're playing with. And you can set it to one of the three dedicated slots. In addition to that, just like the official Microsoft Elite controller, well, by official, I mean the original, first, second generation version of the Elite controller, the LED light it is also RGB. You can toggle between the different little colors that they have, and you do have access to a hue to really dial it in to your own personal color choice of preference. And it also works the exact same way even on a Windows PC computer. So, really, you're just saving $50 to have less stuff on an identical, just white color Elite 2 controller. And I gotta say, white doesn't look too bad on the Elite Core 2. But then again, on the standard Elite 2 controller. Black on black definitely does look menacing. But the grip texture and stuff that you see on the sides, it's the exact same material. And then if you're not using a wireless headset, you have access to the same exact ports right here, like the Elite 2 controller. Now with that said, if you do purchase the Elite 
2 core controller. If you decide on purchasing some of the accessories and stuff like that, here's a quick rundown as we go ahead and do that on Amazon. So here we are at Amazon. Right now we have the Elite Core in our shopping cart. Let's go ahead and add some paddle shifters to it. So paddles right here. Let's go ahead and get these silver ones, unless there's one that includes the entire kit. Scuff even makes these, which is quite interesting. Or actually, let's go ahead and grab one that actually has the D-pad, because that's something that we're missing because the core doesn't have the, like this traditional style D-pad, only it comes included with the satellite one. But I want to see if we have one with the, here's, this is a good one, but we don't need this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one, $16. 10 reviews, should be, be made of good material because it's so hard to mess this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that, add it to cart. So now we're at 146. So uh, that already took a massive chunk of our budget. Now we, another thing we need is a travel case. This one from Scruff, this one should be a good one. Add that to cart. Another thing we need is the Elite Dock Charger. Here's one right here for $15. And then we need the joystick. We need the extended one. So here's this one for $17. Let's see if there's any cheaper alternatives. Ooh, this one comes in white. And this one's $15. So our grand total is about $195, $93 if we, well, $94 if I round out, $194 if we actually purchase the core controller. And then we get the other missing stuff that we need for to complete the Elite controller. We're looking at $194. At that point, I think you're better off just buying the Elite 2 controller, which right now is on sale for 150. Or if I'm really on a tight budget, the Amazon Renew, Renewed right here is also available and it's on sale. And if anything is wrong with it, it's easy to get this exchange for another one that doesn't have any defects or seems like it's worn out a lot. So it's gonna cost us this much, or you could just go on Microsoft website and purchase the complete component pack, which includes everything we need, including the D-pad, the little docking station, the pass-through cable ability for the charging docking station that it comes included with. It has it all. So you could also do this and save a little bit more money. And it only retails for $60. So we'll be saving four bucks roughly if we just pick up the complete pack. But at the end of the day, we're still gonna end up spending more than what the actual Microsoft Elite Wireless Controller Series 2 will cost you, especially since it's on sale right now. So with that said, from my personal experience, I'm just a casual user. I purchased this Elite controller from day one when it was first released. And if you look at the exterior, it's handling wear and tear extremely well. These Xbox Elite controllers are built with the highest quality materials possible to definitely last several years without experiencing any issues. No driftings or anything like that. The only noticeable wear and tear I've been experiencing with my personal controller is that the joysticks are starting to lose its grippy texture. But since it's removable, I could easily swap it with another one because you could actually buy these separately. Although looking back here, I have noticed that the text of the black ink font that's originally on the black elite controller is not found on the white elite core two, which is quite interesting. So for anybody who wants to experience or own an elite controller, but you know you're not gonna need all the pedals, all the gizmos that it comes with, like the travel case and such, or even this docking station, I personally hardly ever use this. I forget that it even has that. It's not ne really necessary. You could save a lot of money if you just purchase the Core 2 controller and you have access to this cool white and black color theme. And the paddles themselves, they just cost about $10. And don't worry, I'm pretty sure not everybody's gonna use all four paddles at once. Me personally, if I'm playing first person shooter games like Battlefield or Call of Duty, even Apex, I only use one or two paddles. I talk to my friends, they do the exact same thing. So maybe just use one paddle at a time. There's really no need to have all four. So that alone, they'd be a lot of money. And then the specs of this controller, it's the exact same specs on the Elite 2 controller. 40 hours of battery life, that's more than enough. I typically find myself charging this controller once a week and it's compatible across other devices as well, like PC and even on your Tesla if you like to game on the go. So for me personally, as a casual gamer, this is perfectly fine because looking back at it with my Elite 2 controller, all I really use is once more, one or two pedals and the travel case. And of course that USB-C to USB-A cable to charge it. I never really use that dock. So the core, 
isn't a bad choice. You're still saving money and you're still experiencing the same premium feel and experience that you will typically get with the Elite 2 controller. So it's a fair deal. All in all, it's not a bad controller. Now, if you're curious to know where you can go ahead and pick yours up, I'll be sure to include links in the video description down below. So it's literally just a click away. Now, if you got some good useful information out of this video, you know what to do. Greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like, it's always helped me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. Now, if you love personalizing your devices, check out this video over here as I show you how easy it is to mod your Xbox Series S with LED lights. And in that video over there, that's just the video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one.